last run before my race and I was very slow and I only did two miles. Hello again and welcome back to another video. Today we are on our way to a fitness expo which we have no business going to. <laughs> we have no business being there but we're going to pick up our well, to pick up my bib, just like the little packets they she's give a, you. She's a messy eater. <laughs> no, actually, for the first time on my channel, it, this isn't about food. I'm actually going to be running a half marathon for the first time, and I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared, and wondering what I got myself into because I haven't trained like I was supposed to, um, I actually haven't trained at all. I mean, I've been running like two to three miles, uh, but then I took a huge break and now we're here. Now we're in the situation where the race is tomorrow. I'm going to have to run 13.1, I believe, is a half marathon. You can do right on right, right? Yeah. In one go. I've never done that. So why not? pay to fail <laughs> you think I'll fail never no no originally Jose was also gonna run with me but I actually signed up for this marathon two years ago before I even had Romy the plan that I worked out was six miles then rest for half a mile then run three rest half run the last three but I still need to work all of that out um, yeah, it's just I'm so underprepared for this for this race and it's giving me a lot of anxiety. I don't know why. I, I knew that I wasn't gonna like place or anything like that. I just wanted to do it to challenge myself. Hopefully everything will go great. We're driving downtown right now, so <laughs> it's all one way streets and we don't come down here a lot, so it's rough. If you've ever driven in any downtown you probably know what that's like but um, we're just trying to find parking really really nervous <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of people pick up their stuff and they're like really fit so hopefully I do okay and don't die <laughs> this is so grand I've never been in here we kind of sneaked our way in so <laughs> I don't know why they make it confusing that is a beautiful tree He's got nothing on our tree. <laughs> no, he's got height on it, but that's about it. This is nice. Mm -hmm.
much ready. I'm just gonna put some um, face cream on sunscreen on and wake up and get Romy ready and then we're off. Um, we're a little bit later than I thought we would be but that's okay because I don't start till like 30, 45 minutes after um, the start time. Um, my coral doesn't go until later so we're still okay on time. Yeah, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I hope I do well today and I'll bring you guys along. Hi guys, I don't know if I did a good job filming but I wanted to show my raw experience running my first half marathon. If you know me at all, uh, you would be shocked <laughs> that I actually went through with running it. I am still quite shocked myself that I did it if I'm being honest. And I do wish I would have actually trained for this race because I think I could have done so much better uh, on time had I trained. Before this day, the most I had run without walking was three miles. So I didn't really didn't know if I had <laughs> this race in me. So as I said before, I signed up for this race in 2019 thinking that in 2020 I would have trained all year, lost the baby weight, everything was you know, sunshine and rainbows, but then the panoramic happened and the race got postponed to 2021 this year. And that means that I had two years <laughs> um, where I was able to train for this half marathon and I still didn't do it, <laughs> which I'm a little bit ashamed of if I'm being honest. For full transparency, I did uh, train a little bit, like maybe six months before. I started running two to three miles about maybe four times a week, if I want to be generous. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, that's some training, but nowhere near like any real training that you should do for a half marathon. That is very clear <laughs> in my performance um, the best part was at the beginning I I guess I was pumped with adrenaline just being surrounded with the other runners but I was able to push out five miles non-stop but after that mile six marker I really really struggled you guys I was running while fasted because that's how I usually run but it was really humid and I was sweating since mile two. So I started to feel a little lightheaded, which I tried fixing with that PB packet that I showed y'all a little bit ago. I think eating while running was one of my bigger mistakes because it made my stomach cramp really bad. So I really couldn't push myself anymore. And after I stopped the first time, I could not go further than a mile without stopping. So that was more than half the race that I alternated running and walking a mile each um, I did not train enough and I did not have a strong enough plan for my run and that was really detrimental I was completely underprepared and it showed in my finish time <laughs> and in how I felt afterwards I think also regardless of all of this I'm really proud of myself you guys I have never done anything like this in my life and I'm so happy that I showed up, tried my best, and finished. It convinced me that there really isn't anything I cannot do and I'm happy that I documented it because now I got to tell you that if I could do this with little to no training, completely underprepared, you could too. You could do anything you really want to do. The only thing stopping you from achieving the quote-unquote impossible in your life is really self-doubt. I suffer from this all the time, so I'm happy to be the first to say that we shouldn't let doubt or fear stop us from experiencing our life. And look at this, I mean, I would have missed out on this had I said, no, I'm not ready. I'm not going to do well, I might as well not go, which is in me for sure, <laughs> but I, I didn't do that. I showed up and I ran it, I did my best, and I, guess what, I ended up finishing. So 
I really am really proud of myself and I'm really, really happy with my first half marathon experience. I started to get a little confused because at this point the half marathon and the marathon had merged so I was only seeing the full marathon mile markers but then I did come up on the 12 mile marker and I was like okay I gotta push give it everything I got <laughs> but I was confused and really tired so I did end up stopping one more time that you'll see here but after that 13 mile marker that's coming up, I did run, give it my all, which means that I unfortunately don't have any footage of me crossing the finish line, which I'm really sad about, but I was just giving it my all, so I didn't even think to take out my phone. But I would not lie to you, here's my medal to prove that I finished. There's salt all over my face. Can you see that salty ass? <laughs> it's my face. <laughs> <laughs> salty ass face. First time I, yeah, I've ever exerted myself. Isn't that crazy? Bye, baby. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!